In this video, I'm going to show to you how to integrate Nest.js and OpenAI's completion API for ChatGPT and GPT-4. So I'm going to make a quick demonstration for the project that you're going to get at the end of this video. So I'm going to send a message. Let's play a game. I'll say a number and I have to double it. I'll start one. So when I click here, the model say, sure, let's play. You said one. So if I double it, that will be two. Now your turn. So now if I say four, the model keeps going. Great. If I double four, it becomes eight. Now it's my turn. So if I say another number, for example, eight, and the model says, if I double eight, now it becomes 16. Now you turn again. So you can see that the model can remember our previous interactions and the game rules. So if you want to learn how to do this, just follow me until the end of the video. <laughs> Previously, I created another video showing how to use Nest.js and the old completion API, which does not allow the model to remember our previous interactions with it. But today, I'm going to show to you how to use the chat completion API and LangChain.js, allowing the model to remember our previous interactions. But before we proceed, if you like this kind of content, just give me a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel so we can learn more about Nest.js and these AI integrations. And never forget that the more you learn, the better you become and more value you can provide. So let's do this. Okay, great. So in this section, I'm going to show you how to set up an OpenAI account. If you already have an account, you can skip to the next video section. But if you don't have an account, just follow me into this section. So the first thing that you have to do, you have to sign up for a new account. And then you have to do the sign up process. If you already have an account, just click to login. And then you will see a page like this. And then you click to API. And then you will see this page. On the top right, click here. And then go to manage account or view API keys. So here you can see all your API keys. If you already have an API key, you have to save it in a safe place. If you don't have a key, you have to click on create a new secret key. You copy the key into a safe place because you won't be able to see it again. And if you lose your key, you just, just delete the old one and then create a new one. And that's it. Just make sure you have a valid key for using it in the code. Okay, great. So let's keep going. Okay, great. So here on VS Code, this is the project that I created on the previous video using the old completion API. So I'm going to reuse the project by creating a new Nest.js module using the chat completion API. So the first thing that I need to make sure is that I have OpenAI and LangChain properly installed with a recent version. So I'm going to install both libraries, yarn add, OpenAI and LangChain. Okay, great. So these are the, the versions that I'm using in the project. If you wanna if you wanna double check with me. Okay, great. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is to create a new Nest.js module. I'm gonna call it chat completion API. Besides the module, I'm gonna create the service for handling the code. Great. So now we have our module and our service. If you want to create the controller as well, let's do it. Now we have the sample code base for configuring our project. Besides this, I'm also going to create a new mod, new model folder here. So I'm going to create a few DTOs. So I'm going to create a, create a file called chat completion dto.ts. So here I'm going to create two classes, one for input and another for output. So basically this one, ex the, the input expects a parameter called message and the output will return a parameter called AI message. They are pretty much similar. And besides this, I'm going to create a another class called jet 
history integer dot ts. So here we're gonna import a few libraries from LangChain. And this is going to be the class responsible for handling the chat history. And that's it. This is a simple class that has a, a list here with base messages from LangChain. So if you want to pass a system message for defining the, the behavior for the model, you can pass it in the constructor. And then besides this, we're going to have other two methods. One for adding an AI message. So we push to the chat history an AI message and another method for adding human messages. So whenever we, the users, send the message to the model, we're going to push the message into the message history as a human message object. Okay, great. So let's keep going. So in the service layer, what I'm going to do. So in the constructor, I am going to instantiate our libraries. So I'm going to put it here, chat history, which is chat history manager. And besides this, I'm also going to import the chat open AI from LangChain, not from open AI library, chat open AI. Okay, great. So in the constructor, I'm going to instantiate these classes. Chat history receives a new chat history. And the chat, we're going to receive a new chat. So the temperature, I'm going to define a constant here. I'm going to say one, but you can play around this value to see what works best for you. The OpenAI key, we need to import it from a .env file. Or if you want to pass it directly, but it's not recommended for security reasons. And the model name. So in my case, I'm going to use the GPT 3.5 Turbo. But if we have access to GPT-4, just change this string to GPT-4. GPT-4. In my case, I'm going to use the GPT, GPT 3.5 Turbo. Okay, great. Now let's define a method for receiving the message and interact interacting with the model. So I'm going to create a method called get AI model answer, which receives the DTO input. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to call our chat object and call the predict messages function, passing our chat history, chat history dot chat history. And then we take the content from the AI model here, and then we pass the AI message to the history. So the model will be able to remember the whole context for the next iterate for the next iterations. So here we need to import this the other detail here, and then we'll return a new instance from this function. And before we do this, we actually need to to pass to the chat history a human message, which is a data dot message. So this is the the whole process. We add a human message to the chat history and then we pass the entire chat history to the model and then we grab the output here into this function and then we pass the AI message into the chat history as well as an AI message and then we return the AI message from the function. So the history will be saved here into this list, into this class manager for, the, for future interactions with the model. Okay, great. So, and then this is it for our service layer. Now let's go to the controller to define our function here. And this is our controller layer. So basically what we're doing here, we define a simple controller that receives the service layer in the constructor uh, with dependency injection. And we have a post method, which, which is on the root which is on this route here. And then we receive the, the object, the, this body object as a parameter, which is, which is a basic class, which is a simple class with one attribute, which is our message. And then we take this object and pass to the service layer with our message. 
and then the model will, will receive the message, do what needs to be done, send the message to the model and receive the output back and send back from the service to the controller. And then the controller will return the message to us. And that's it. Now let's test our application. Great. So I'm gonna copy the path here. Let's go back to Postman. So let me change this here. And then let's try our game again. Let's play a game. I'll say a number and you have to double it. I'll start one. Let's see what the model can do. Okay, the number provided is one. So if I double it, the result is two. So now if I say four, the model will say, if you give me the number four, I will double it and I double it. The result will be 8. So if I say 16, the model will say, if you give me the number 16 and I double it, the result will be 32. So we can see that the model can remember the game rules and keeps playing with us. And that's pretty much it. Now you know how to use Nest.js and Chat Completion API from OpenAI. Hope you liked it and I see you in the next time.